Hello, friends. <clears throat> I know we're really close to the table today. Um, I wish I had the remote, um, what's that called, to go up and down, little mechanical thing. But this is a white webcam, so I just got to move it, the legs up and down on <clears throat> over top. So today I have all these older paints. Can you see this? And I got to use them up. And I, yes, I use them up on my jelly plate. But I have these rocks. They're nice and flat. And the back is the, they were on a mesh. I'll show you the rocks if I can stick them underneath this video bit here. Because it's so close to the table. And it's like a black backsplash. I got them from my neighbor across the alley. Um, they're like a one foot by one foot square. <clears throat> and they have the rocks all over. And they're flat. And then they fill them up with their mud or whatever and put them I don't know maybe in the, in the kitchen a black backsplash or in the bathroom I don't know so that's how they look um you can just if you buy these little ones and they even have smaller versions of these at the dollar store for crafting and stuff I think for crafting or else if you're doing it in your home your your own um, repairs in the home I suppose that's what they're probably really for so I got these and like I said, I used my post-it notes for my paint, and this is what we're making. This is just a teeny example. Um, you can go crazy with this. Um, dotting the paint I have for tools. I have a stylus, so if you have a stylus with a different size ends, perfect. I have an eraser with pins. This pin has a head on it. Can you see? This is a perfect pin for for some of these dots here, these white ones here. Um, this size, I have the next size. Sorry for all the blur because I'm moving around too fast, maybe, or too close. So this is the closed pin, you know, for sewing. I also bought these collage pins, and they're bigger, so I use that for my bigger dots. Just to let you know, these are my tools, easy peasy to find. You can use a paintbrush. I also, you can pin pieces into your top of your erasers, but I like this because it's a little bigger than the pencil and more comfortable in my hand. You can use large toothpicks for painting and dipping. In fact, the little ones, if you can see, as soon as it decides to focus, come on, the little ones in the red here are dipped, I dipped it very lightly in, these little blocks is from the toothpick. So, this was a very quick job, so guys, sorry about the mess, but I wanted to do one just a little bit to show you ahead of time, and I thought, well, have a little something there for you guys to see. So I'm just going to move these colors back now and I'm going to um, pick another piece and start working on it. So here's another one. I'm going to start working on it. <clears throat> There's tons of little ideas that you can do. In fact, I think I'm going to use this one maybe. Let's see here. This one be cute. Try to look for shapes. You can paint something on there. And then... Hmm. I might just use this one. This one's really cute. So I'm going to use my little paintbrush here. And I'm just going to start painting. And you guys will just kind of see what I'm doing. So, isn't that cute? So I'm painting a tree, silhouette of a tree, or the, you know, the <clears throat> trunk of a tree. I'm using my very small one because I'm just not in a hurry. Little strokes. It's a little project, so... This is a good way to use up your, your little bottles at the end there because you just need a little bit of paint, right? 
don't need a lot. So, I'm just going to paint this little tree here. And hope, oh, I got my hand in the way, guys. Sorry. See, it's a good thing I kind of look at my screen and see what I'm doing. And see that I am making it hard for you guys to see. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to cover it with flowers. Using the, the dots that I just showed you on the other rock right here. Then you could seal it with uh, jewelry pendant gel if you feel like you want to do that or any kind of sealer of your choice. So I think I'll do that. Anyway, so I'm just making my little tree here. I'll turn this upside down a bit here. To. See, it's making maybe I should have done more of a rounder rock, but it don't matter. There we go. So it's a, a little tree put my brush in the water. I'm going to dry it off and as you guys are looking at this I will dry it off um, right in my hand just so I don't get my paint. You guys won't see it anyway if I pull it down to dry it away from my paint. And here we go. So now I'm going to choose whatever colors I want for my flowers. I don't know we could go with red centers, maybe. I'm using this um, size right here, which is the normal size that you use for pinning up your materials when you're... It might be a little bit big, but it don't matter. So I'm doing that size. I might do... I don't know. I mean, I think I'll do some smaller ones too. So I'm going to go see how small these are. Yeah. Can you guys see that? Try again. Off. And, and it's a kind of a hard thing to uh, do without my hands in my way, in your way, because it's not a long. It's not a long tool, and I keep going right over to try to get the dots. A certain way but it don't really matter I think I might add some orange as well and I really dipped it in there that time oh, my orange is really thick so it's wanting to go on I have to kind of go directly so I'm turning it so you guys can see I might just do the orange with a bigger dot So this one's a little bit of a drier paint. Because it's old paint. So there we go. Again, going to dry it. Maybe I'll just do it right here, but... Okay, so where did my eraser? Right here. I'm going to use my white one here more, so I'm going to use my white one. I might have made the flowers a little on the big side. That's okay. There's wood. 
So I'm going to concentrate on my big red ones, the larger red ones first, and worry about the little ones after because I don't mind if I cover them up. And I'm just going to dot them. You can do like a like a stripes too, um, and do zigzags. You could so you don't have to do dots, but the dots are really cool. I like them. There it is. Isn't that cute? So the smaller ones, I'm just going to use my smaller one. You can use pink as well for more of a cherry blossom. I was just going for, I don't even know what kind, I'm just going for a big difference in color, that's all. So the lighter you push, the smaller, see how big the dots were there and how small they are now. You can still control that with, with your larger round piece. So, and have a napkin or a, a paper towel on the side to wipe away. Now I'm going to go with the yellow, see how that works. The yellow was a thicker one as well. It might be too thick. I'm going to mix a little yellow, and I'm going to mix a little white because my yellow was really thick. Let's see how the color will get right here and water it up a bit. It'll be more of a creamy yellow, but that's okay. Because I want it more watery, more smooth to use. So you can just do whatever you want. See? I have some yellow blossoms. It's, there's no right, no wrong color flower. You just have fun. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see this? Pretty, pretty, pretty. So play with, you can get, um, oh, my dogs are barking. And I don't want to yell at them right now. You could get flat looking rocks you find in nature, paint them up, anything like that. So this is just today's little challenge to paint some rocks. And like I said, find what you like the best to seal them. You could do a couple of uh, play with paint. You can write and something inspirational on them too, but you can have a couple of plays with paint and uh, see what's the best sealer for you. And... Uh, because depending on where you want them, if you want them in the garden, you want something stronger. If you want them in your flower pots, um, you know how some people put them in the flower pot. You might want something a little bit thicker too, like a poly, what is that called? Poly, uh, yeah, I know. I got to read it. It's all the way up there. I can't read it that far away. But I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So, Yeah. That is, I really like with the yellow. You could do whatever you want, any kind of um, design. Like I said, you could do like a Zentangle type of design just going around. You could do spiros. I'm going to go bigger with the, these ones here. Oops, it went to the wrong yellow. i got to go to the one I made because it's creamy and it goes on. So. Yep, there it is. I might have to fix that one. I don't think I like the... Um, I don't think I like the... Oh, I'll just put a red dab in it. I don't think I like it around the orange. There we go. But there we go. That is the project. So I hope you guys like this and give it a try. 
and tell me what you think. So this one, now I added also um, a little bit of glitter um, glue. If you can see, just on the little green dots, they're kind of like my little leaves that are kind of hanging down or whatever they're supposed to mimic. So I got that one done now. I don't have it sealed, but um, this is the glitter glue I use. Um, the end of that there. Um, and I was just kind of thought, oh, can I play a little more? I'm painting here this one. You could also paint with different sizes. Um, mixing the paints here as I go because I don't have the colors I quite want. So um, I don't know if you could see. I'm going to move some of this here. But I'm just pulling paints on my little sticky notes and mixing colors. Here's another one. Oops, my hand's in the way. See, I'm just making that cream because I don't have the color I want. So I'm just doing that and it's working good. Let's see here. I'm going to pull in. Um, so I want to do these here. Then you could just dot up on top afterwards. I'm going to using different colors. I'm going to pull in some yellow here, uh, maybe here, just because it's going to look nice. So you don't have to do just dots, you could do stripes. Animal prints. Anything you like. I think I'm just going to put a yellow strip. I was going to and then I changed mine. Now I think I'm going back to that idea. I think I'm just going to use these colors and then add some black. So just keep your mind going and going. Try everything out. Go rock collecting. Find some nice river rocks, flat rocks. Whatever. Whatever. Even if they have, you know, a more rounded top. As long as it's flat enough to paint on. It's going to work for you. So try some decorating some rocks here, guys. And doing something really spectacular. I'm going to dry this up a bit because it's a little too wet for me to do my edging on here. It doesn't have to be all the way dry, but the layer on top, just so then you can keep continue so if you put it on a little thick, it's okay. There, it's not smearing into my um, paint as easily. Isn't that pretty? And you guys do little teardrops, zigzags, anything you want. Give it a go. You can even use maybe marker or something for the edging if you want, but I like I like this little fine pen. Um, to make your lines finer, you can just twirl your your um, I mean brush. You just twirl your brush with your fingers. Of course, I'm making thicker lines now, but it's just playing with it. You can practice on your paper. Thinner lines, you twirl. See. Get the glob off. Can you see that? I use twirl for thinner lines. And just take your time because you're not in a hurry. <laughs> just a relaxation. 
type of craft. And like I said, you guys can put some inspirational words on here. He's so cute and so thoughtful if you gave him out. You can have a basket full of them on the table. Coffee table. Um, inspirational words. And people can then kind of sift through them. So... that. I'm going a little thick but there's going to be dotting on them too and I want a little bit of a black line to dot on. So here is a little piece here I want to go little, can you guys see? A little thinner and I'm still going to be able to dot white dots on there. It's going to really pop. And just look nice. I'm just going on the inside here. There we go. That is that. I am also going to do some zigzags or whatever on there, but just wanted to give you guys a little taste of this how it's going to pop here so we can go lines here look at that isn't that pretty it looked plain just two seconds ago you can dot little black dots on the white dots and just keep going and going you guys never know where it's going to go remember this one all the even got gold in there I don't know it's not focusing come on focus so and this one, there's tons of color, so just keep going. I'm going. As much or as little detail as you want. It's your piece, you do whatever, and enjoy it. So I have my cute or toothpick, I keep wanting to call it cute tip. I could go um hmm, how about yellow? Could go yellow in here. No, it's too big now. Oh, I messed that one up. Dip that again. trying to do two dots but some of them are a little on the thin side but there you go isn't that pretty and if you mess up you can even change it or add more to it you can just go crazy like a zentangle go crazy and Enjoy it. Enjoy just the process. So, guys, um, again, like I said before, I'm hoping you guys like it and give it a try. Like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more to play with here and try out. So, I'm just going to speed through the rest of this video.
bottle, so I don't want to turn it up. And this is what I have. So, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Let's see. Just give this one a try. Kind of uh, move these over. So, yeah, this is the, about it. I um, just want to try sealing it with these. I think it's going to work really perfect because I do these with my pendants and it's nice. The rocks are, um, these particular ones are not like shine, so it'll give it a little bit of shine, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. It's going to be super nice, sealed in, and I'm already liking just what I see now. So I think I'm happy with it. So that's what I'm going to try and I will comment later I suppose to tell you guys how much I like it if I do or don't but it's kind of hard to say when I'm making a video and I gotta wait for you know a couple days to or at least you know a day or so to see how it turns out and how I like the look of it I didn't actually put my name on all of these which I should have done but that's okay before you seal it Put your name or your initials. I think I'm just going to give this one away anyway to the the fella who gave me the rocks to my gave them to my husband for me. So I'm going to give this to him and his wife as a thank you for sharing, so I can make these. So I think that'll be really cool. So I guess that's the only one that really needs to be signed. The other ones are just playing and they're for me. So. The girls might like to put them in the garden. I think that would be really cute. And that's kind of why I'm putting the good gel on there. Because we could probably put them in our little plants. And not worry about it too much. It's not like it's going to get really weathered in my like herb garden by the window or whatever. So it's going to, I think it's going to last pretty good. Go let that dry. And naturally this doesn't really work well with heat tool try that it bubbles up so just don't take too long to get it across i'm looking into the to the light here i'm kind of looking down it's looking pretty good it doesn't have to be perfect it is rocks and i think it's good I think I have what I want. So I hope you guys give this a try. Because look at these are just so pretty. Anyways, I'm going to leave you at this. And I will talk to you guys soon. My next video. I um, Yeah, please comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you guys, what designs you guys want to try. And show, show, give me a show. So I'll talk to you guys later. Um, like I said, please comment and um, like. And I will see you soon. Craft like a duck. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.